In example 2, you're to use the properties of logarithms to condense the following expressions. Go ahead, work these through on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to see the solutions. For this first one, whenever you're condensing, you want to make sure you have the same base, which we do. We can pull coefficients up as exponents. We get log base 3 of x over 3 squared minus log base 3 of 1 over y. Now we see that we're subtracting. Subtraction gets paired with division. We get log base 3 of x over 3 squared divided by 1 over y, which equals log base 3 of x over 3 squared times y. And that's our final answer. For the second one, we have ln of x squared minus 1 half ln y plus ln of 2. Since these are all ln, that means they have the same base, a base of e. We get ln of x squared minus ln of y to the 1 half plus ln of 2. This then gives us, we want to deal with addition first. Actually, no we don't. So we're going to do ln of x squared over y to the 1 half plus ln of 2, which equals ln of 2x squared over y to the 1 half, which can also be rewritten as ln of 2x squared over the square root of y. And that's your final answer. So when you're given a string of plus and minuses, just go in order. Do ln of x squared minus the ln of y to the 1 half first. Then deal with that term plus ln of 2. Lastly, we have log base b of 5 plus 2 log base b of x to the negative 1. We do have the same bases, which is good. We get log base b of 5 plus log base b of x to the negative 2, which gives us log base b of 5 times x to the negative 2. And that's the same as log base b of 5 over x squared. That's our final answer. If condensing mathematical expressions makes sense to you, that's fantastic. Make sure you do know how to both condense and expand using our three properties of logarithms. Here we go. These three properties are cru crucial. You must know them to be able to expand or condense logs and to work with logarithms in general. That finishes part one of section 5.4. Part two, we're going to talk about the following day in class, so you don't need to go on to that next section yet. If you're ready, though, you're welcome to. Part two is going to start with change of base.